Hey, welcome to the 86th Lab Podcast. I think episode number nine. We're back with Buddy the Prophet, Kyle. Hello. Henry. And we chilling. The cam- the camera cut out last time, so we only had like half an episode. But here's the uh, the second half. We came back to give it to you. Um, the mic isn't working for some reason. So. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. So. Uh, I think we left off talking about the Tinder match in public. Um, we did. Yeah, anyways, it was kind of, like, ironic that we found somebody that actually kind of was interested, kind of, for the moment. I don't know. That was kind of funny. Well, yeah, I mean, because neither of us expected that you're going to find, like, a Tinder match in real life. Because, like, I it's remember... The I, thing. Yeah, like, when, when we filmed it, I remember that it was just... Like, we joked about it the whole time, shooting. Yeah. And then there was someone there, and it's like, hey. I had a feeling, too, I was like, or one of us said something about to approach them, too. And I just kind of got in character and when, <laughs> when I did it. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Did you ever get go fry in her dirt bike? No, we were going to get coffee, but then, like, I don't, I don't know, didn't happen. You got ghosted? No, it just didn't happen. <laughs> she didn't ghost me. I'm sure I could could text her, DM her. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, mopping the crosswalks. My favorite parts of that were, were at nighttime because it was just even more cringe to be mopping them at night. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, and especially, like, the mop and the crosswalks, there was something about it that just, like, the at night, everyone, you it just looked weirder. Yeah. Like, you threw off so many people driving by, just wondering, like, what's this guy doing at midnight? Yeah, and was it midnight, 11 midnight? Yeah, it was pretty late. The one night it was, like, 11 p.m. you're doing it on, yeah. like, a Sunday night. <laughs> That's dedication, though, at its finest, right? Um... Gotta get those sidewalks clean, the crosswalks clean. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did the uh, the VR in public too. Someone actually sent me a DM. Shout out to him. He, I'll check it after. But he said uh, somebody DM me and said that that was their favorite video so far. So I I thought it was pretty jokes too. So. Yeah, I remember when we did when when that happened. There was a group of guys that just came back from like playing golf or something. Yes, those guys made the video. Yeah. I actually wasn't sure if they were one of my favorite bands. And then, like, when I approached them, like, okay, okay, just a few of them look like dudes in a specific band that's not even a Canadian band, but, uh, like, why would they be here, right? But they, they they told me to tell somebody that they're built like a Mandela. Yeah. So you're, you've heard it here first. <laughs> These specific dudes. No, they heard it in the video if they watched the video. Oh. The audio was kind of low. I should have put subtitles. But they they said to tell somebody that they're built like a Mandela. And then <laughs> now they did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Because I remember that they like asked you what you were playing and they wanted to try them on. Yeah, I was. I told them I was playing Fortnite, and they're like, uh, they were telling me if, like to, they play Cold War. Yes. Yeah. 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 They play Cold War, and uh, I said I might try that on part two, but it's really just the sound effects on my Bluetooth speaker. So. Yeah, that was a good soundtrack. <laughs> Fortnite, yeah. Because it and, and it threw off so many people as you walked. Yeah. Just because when you walk the, like past patios, they didn't see the virtual reality headset. They're just like, "Oh, what's this music playing?" Yeah, and then when they see the headset, they're like, Is "This guy for real?" Yeah. But they loved it. They did. They loved it. My favorite part of the Tinder video, though, is talking to the staff at the Fromo, the waitress or the hostess, and I'm like. Is it hostess or waitress? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm like asking them, do you know how to use Tinder? And she's like, yeah. And then I'm like, um, 
like, do you think I'd get a lot of matches? Like, what's your strategy? And she wouldn't give me her strategy, but shout out to her. She was funny. Yeah, she because she, she had a boyfriend. She didn't want to help. Cause she that, probably yeah. did have a boyfriend. They probably met on Tinder. They probably did. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But but that's good. That's loyalty right there. Because she was mm-hmm. like, you know, I have a boyfriend. I'd, I'd, I'd love, I would love to give you tips. But Yeah, yeah. Because what if he saw that? What what business would she have telling someone how to use Tinder, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You gotta be careful, man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the public waiter at 84 with, um, um, the, on the patio. Are you, are you trying to, th- are you trying to think of the dude that came, that, like, by fluke knew Spanish? No, I'm trying to think of our buddy at 84. He, he's at 84, like, a lot when we go there. What's his name? Uh, Maybe yeah, maybe you don't need to drop his name, but he gave a good reaction with the uh, he did. with the menu, and then uh, uh, boiled egg five ninety nine. Like I put a lot of work into that menu. I just went on Canva and made up my. It was a good menu, menu though. I, re- I I made up the menu, but you know Canva has the templates, right? And it kind of like <laughs> covered all the bases. It had all the food you needed. And it yeah. had it had vegan beef tacos. Yeah, it, it had like vegan beef and real beef in it. So I mean, it, like it, it's perfect because if you're vegan, then someone could order off your menu, and yeah, they yeah. could still be living the vegan lifestyle, even though it had beef in it. Living la vida vegan. Yeah. Yep. Viva la vegan lifestyle. And then, and I mean, but for the public waiter video, the best part was the fact that at Station 84, there was just... The guy who knew Spanish? Yeah, there was yeah, Ishmael. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, he, he said he was going to come to the stand-up at the beach soon on the mm. DMs. Shout out to you, buddy. He's a good guy. He is a good dude. We got to uh, got to hang out soon. Come come to the beach this Sunday, if you're if you're watching. And it was it was hilarious too because he corrected you when he corrected your Spanish. Yeah, yeah. He's like, actually, this means like, or what was it? This means butter. This yeah, doesn't yeah. mean egg or something. And you're like, what was it? The donkey. Oh, what is it? oh yeah, it was. It was but the donkey as well. The that donkey something. Like donkey's leg or something or, like uh, that. It was fresh or something. I. It was awesome. But it was a good time. When you, like when we went through the menu, and that was cool. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I can't. I can't believe we haven't seen him around since, or I haven't seen him around much since. We gotta. We gotta do some more with that guy. Yeah, he was fun. He was down. And it was especially like his. I don't know. He was. He was a good sport too. Like he. He was fully on board with it, which mm-hmm. was just heartwarming. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. I'm trying to think the, uh, what's another video? We did so many. It's true. Um, man, there's the, I'm thinking of a scene, but it's from the Tinder video where it begins and I'm talking to the, those people on the rooftop and I'm like, Hey, do you guys know how to use Tinder? <laughs> like, how are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Right? Yeah, they were just they were like they were just hanging out in the roof. Mm-hmm. It was right. It was on the uh, TD. No, it's not TD Bank. Um, right across from there. Yeah. yeah, it was on the it was on the Scotia Bank roof. I remember that. I no, forgot that Scotia they were Bank. on the roof. It's not Scotia Bank. It's like I think there's like some local shops on the other side on uh, Lesger Street or Lesger. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, it's, um, where, like, so, like, the Stitch and Stone, like, that street, they were on that roof, and they were just hanging out, yeah. having a good time on a roof, and then they gave Josh some Tinder advice. No, actually, they didn't, but I think they said Happy Canada Day back. Oh, they did say that, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got the coffee burps right now. They were celebrating, well, it wasn't Canada Day, but... They were celebrating it because why not? Holiday's a holiday. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. So the, the getting laid on the mopping in public. 
We, we did quite a few. We did. I mean, <clears throat> there was... <clears throat> I'm trying to think what the best moments were, you know? Yeah, like, too. there's some good, like, comedic moments. Yeah. I like, um... Shoot, what was it? It wasn't you that filmed the sharding and asking for directions to the IMAX, right? No, but okay. that that is one of your good videos, actually. Yeah, that that's one is like, pretty funny. That's one of them. I'm trying to think. The one... I'm drawing a blank. We did so many, man. Like... Endless. I could probably pull them up, too. I mean, that would be interesting. <laughs> Pulling them up on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I go back to last summer. Yeah, the shopping... Or not shopping, the video games in VR. I like how we, like, cut through that, that movie event. Before yes. Before the movie started, like... I mean, we should have got clips while the movie was going, but, like, at the same time, like, I don't, we were just cutting through to go downtown to get clips. We, we didn't need to disturb the movie, but it would have been funny, but uh, I don't think it would have been respectful. I think I know the, the guy running the event, so I didn't want to overstep. Well, yeah, yeah, and, you know, like, they're trying to watch a movie. They're trying to, like, talk, and the kids are there. They're trying to enjoy a movie, man. <clears throat> Doesn't yeah. help when there's a friggin' guy walking through playing Xbox through his VR headset. No. That so we anyone. decided against that. It's true. And just cut through on our way down to it. It was, I think it was like, was it Ratatouille that maybe they are playing? I, I think something like that. I kind of remember that. Yeah. Idea. That movie's so good. That's a classic. <laughs> Ratatouille. I mean... It's 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 kind of too bad because like it'd be great to see the rat like actually cooking, yeah. Just like little fingers like trying to like push things around, yeah. As if he's like under his hat like pulling his hair and like yeah. <laughs> it, like it's pretty magical. I, I didn't realize rats could actually use their feet like that. You know. <coughs> yeah, I hear ya. It's it's being slow. But, like, do you remember which, like, the first video that we filmed? Was it the mopping in public? I think it was the mopping in public. Okay. It was either mopping in public or the Tinder. No, the Tinder was after. And then I just got laid on. Why are all these revolving around the same type of humor? (laughs) (laughs) That wasn't intentional. What, um, you mean it wasn't intentional to make... It was a part of the series, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was, it was a, a good... part of the script. I mean, it, <laughs> that's, that it actually is a pretty good sequence in series, though, you know? And it was unintentional. Yeah. I just thought I was being funny. But, like, sexual jokes aren't always funny. You're, like... True. I, like, I'm just mocking... Like, like um, I'm breaking a boat getting laid. I mean, the sus dudes inspired that one, but... It's making fun of the guy that brags about, like, hey, I got laid last night. It is. It was great. It's like, who really cares, man? Like, yeah. Well, that's like, night? that's kind of the, that's kind one of what sec, makes fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got laid last night? Good for you, buddy. Maybe I'll give you a fist pound, maybe not. But I mean, why, do you, why are you walking around yelling about it? It's true. Anyways, <laughs> it's bragging. But I was bragging in public. I was even better. Not that bragging is good. For no. Me. You shouldn't brag about anything, I don't think. I mean, no. Um, never. I mean, except for, you know, like the... Maybe, like, you know, if, like if the vaccine, if you got all three and, like, it didn't give you a third dimple, you should yeah, brag about that. Definitely brag about you that. Dodged, you definitely dodged a bullet not getting a third dimple by getting all vaccines. Yeah, yeah. Trolling at the tennis court. That video was such a filler video. That really minutes. was. And it's mostly me trolling y'all. I'm mostly tr- like repeating things, talking to the, like talking to the camera. There's like two clips with people, like yeah. interactions with people, and then the tennis court karaoke. I love that. I love I love that version. That was that a was good one. Worth it. It's worth it at the end because you have a laugh at the karaoke. The tennis record. court prank was fun because I mean. 
You're not very good at tennis. No, I'm not. Eh? No. <laughs> in in telling people that like you that you want to go pro, and because I because I remember there was these two d- dudes that were playing tennis and yeah. and Josh asked to play with them, and they were like. Oh, sorry, you know, like, we don't have another racket. And they just, and after you left and just started, like, trying to hit the ball and just play by yourself. Yeah. Just the looks they gave you was just priceless. Yeah. I hear ya. It kind of made that video better, just, like, their response, reaction yeah, of, like, did. who is this guy asking to play tennis? <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Uh, that, that's the best part, because they're, like... Who is this guy? Yeah. Why is he... Get out of here, dude. And then the tennis lesson was going on, too. There was a tennis lesson? Yeah, the, the right at the end of the tennis court. Oh, yes. They were had, there was a tennis lesson. Yeah. And then she actually offered to play. Yeah, and also yeah. another another fellow comedian, Brooke. She played tennis with you in that video. Yeah, that's right. I think she moved. She's working at a bank now. Yeah, I think so. She's funny, though. Yeah, she had some really funny jokes. Um, Dude, where's my dad? Oh, yes. Yes, I actually saw Jerry. I see Jerry now and again because we live in the same neighborhood, and and, uh, I hope that's okay to say, but I seen seen him at the... I was uh, walking one day, and I saw him parked with another car, like having a meeting or something, right? So I took a video and zoomed in, and I sent him a DM, and I'm like, you having a meeting in the street? And then I was, and then he's like, yeah, actually, and I'm like, okay, or whatever, right? Like, and then on the way back, I sent him a, a clip of where they were parked and they were gone. I'm like, I missed the meeting, but <laughs> I was just joking, right? And then the other night, I was chilling with a friend, we saw him, and I texted, I DM'd him, hey, would you, would you be down to give your son and his friend a ride downtown? <laughs> and then it, he said no, his van was parked for the night, but he actually said something really funny. I want to read it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I Jerry okay is funny, and he it was great how... I hope he's okay with me reading it. And the dude, Probably. where's my... Are you my dad prank? That was great with him, because he f- was fully on board. Yeah, I was like, would you give me and a homie a ride downtown for five bucks? No pressure, dad. And, and then he's like, he's got the camper van, right? He's like, haha, this old beat... This old beast is parked for the night, son. Sorry, heart emoji, much love. Rad dad who's too bad to stay clad. Rad dad who's too bad to stay clad. That's a that is a Jerry line. Jerry rocks. He does rock. Hashtag Jerry rocks. Yeah. You can add that in post. Yeah, I'll hashtag it in the yeah the info. I don't want to do a lot of posts on the... On this, now. On the editing. But... Or a lot of editing on the post. I just want to render, get it out to the fans, and then... For you. And then, like, once we get the momentum going, then I'll start doing more editing and posts and uh, it, for the podcast, right? Make some, like, fancy transitions and, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna we're going to be moving to a... a a studio. We're actually in the studio right now, but uh, we are. Um, yeah, we're gonna be moving to like an animated studio if we can. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, we're gonna figure that out. Make it so it's a city. Yeah, it might even be like an animated version of the water tower. Like, I was yeah, just, I was just gonna take the photo of the water tower, put it behind me, but put it behind us. But I could put, uh, I could, I could get an animated. Water tower thing done, probably. I mean, true, yeah. Because, I mean, the water tower is, like, it's a cool site, you know? It's kind of, like, in the... With the sunset. So there's, like, just this, like, giant tower. The sun's hitting it, like, halfway. Yeah, yeah, and it'd have to, like... Ah, uh, man, it'd have to be, like, at the perfect time of day. I mean, it'll be animated, but... I accidentally closed my videos, that's why, yeah. Going back. Um... Uh, you should have came to church with me when I ate baby carrots in church. Yeah, I mean that'd be interesting. How is like so? What what response do people give when you eat baby carrots no, in church? No response. Like they obviously were wondering what I was doing. They probably saw my phone rolling. Like my they probably saw that I was recording myself. So they 
I think that's why nobody approached me. No. No, I think they were just like, he's eating carrots, like, what can we really do, right? Yeah. But at the same time, like, they did ask, uh, the, I think the pastor, someone asked me at the end, like, what were you doing? And I said, hey, I was just making some content, like... Just eating carrots. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, um... It's not for YouTube, I'm just eating carrots because I'm hungry. No, no, I was honest, like, I just make stupid YouTube videos, I was eating carrots during church. And I don't think they really liked it, but, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, guar guaranteed the pastor... Probably didn't like it. No. The pastor was like, no. Delete that. No, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't say that. <clears throat> he, was, he was pretty cool, though. Yeah, they wouldn't make you delete it, but, you know, they'd, they'd be like, hey, yeah. try eating something less crunchy next time, you mm -hmm. know? Like, go for asparagus. Yeah. It doesn't crunch. I hear ya. That's it. Broccoli, it's quieter. Make up my mind. We brief. I think we briefly. Did we catch? Did we get that in the first episode, or did the camera cut out? I don't know. I mean, the make up my mind was great. Yeah, man. Um. I mean, outside of Walmart, may or may not have been the best location, but I mean, we got what we needed, I guess. Like, we got some interviews. Um, it worked out all right. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know why I was joking about Walmart at the end when the there was a boat or whatever. Like, I was just being silly because they asked us to leave. But no, I, they I, did get upset. I love Walmart. Walmart wasn't Walmart was not a I fan love of the Walmart, table. and I'm I'm sorry. I had to make up my mind. I I love you, Walmart, but I had to set up a table and make up my mind. It was a big, it was a burning question. It needed to be we, addressed. We had some burning questions we needed to, to ask. And especially considering the questions were around if vaccines give you a third nipple or if it turns into robots, yeah. like, they're very important questions to answer. My third nipple's almost gone, so... Well, that's good. It yeah. goes away. So for anyone that saw, the, saw that video and they're worried about it, don't worry. A year later, it will go away slowly. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. Fake pizza delivery at Sound Labs. That was... <laughs> that was a good one, yeah. Yes. Shout, I, out, shout out to, uh... Well, I mean, Chris, our friend Chris made that video great. Yeah, yeah, our homie Chris, he wasn't happy with it, but he... <laughs> I think he loves it now. I think so. Like you know, now that he's seen it, probably he's probably seen it a couple times. Who knows? We were just joking. <laughs> I didn't even have a pizza. Did he try to steal the wings? Like he did try to take the wings. Come on. He threw the pizza box <laughs> out in the out in the <laughs> hallway, but then, and the best part was he like slammed it out of your hand, so yeah. the pizza box just slammed, and then it was just like boom. Take, the took the wings, out. yeah. And he shut the door, and I'm like, you didn't pay for the wings, I need the wings back. I'm pretending to work at Topper's Pizza, like, I'm trying to deliver you your pizza. I mean, as the person filming, that was, it was hilarious, yeah. how you kept knocking on the door. Yeah. Because he generally, like, you wanted the wings box for the prank, Yeah. I and Chris was not prop. having it, he was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted my prop so that I could deliver more fake pizza. Matt, Matt Soroka, when I knocked on his door or whatever, and then I tried to deliver pizza, he's like, get out of here with your fake pizza. <laughs> Is that a real pizza this time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that was great. That was awesome. That was a good time. Yeah. And then, did you ever get your pizza box back? Yeah, I did. Because, uh, like, like, we're friends with Chris, you know, and I can, I talked to him after briefly and I got it back. I think we left shortly after that. Oh yeah, we left we, very Because we weren't invited, right? We got, like, yeah. my walk is, so, it's like Machine Gun Kelly says, my walk is so cocky, the bouncers don't even stop me, ain't no pat down, no ID, uh, they, they know me that shit, obviously, right? Yeah. We walk up to labs, the dudes outside are like, Hey Knuckles, what's up? The right. other Chris was gr well. The other Chris loved the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they just they let me in because they know who I am and they know. Yeah, that, they know they know that they they love my energy, right? And that and which which is 
which is even funnier because Chris number one thought it was a yeah. brilliant plan. Chris number two hated it so much <laughs> that he almost ruined the pizza. Yeah, Chris number one being the one at the door, right? Yeah. Shout out to him. Thanks for letting us in. I mean, our homies invite us there to chill, some like to hang sometimes and jam. But when we were doing the prank, like you let us in, you and the, there was another guy at the door too. They let us in, and it was great. Like we were able to get the prank done. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and I now think, that it, now now that you play music down there too, it's different. Yeah, yeah we jam sometimes, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's I a prime we, spot for pranks. I think we saw one of the Sound Labs people earlier that night, and he's like, "Yeah, do it." Right, and he said to do the prank. Yeah, the owner approved. Yeah, so shout out to him. That was cool. He was like, actually, that that would be pretty. That would be pretty funny. I think also because he knew it'd bother <laughs> half the people in South Abs. He like he yeah, knew yeah, it was yeah. just gonna like. But sometimes, sometimes those clips are funny when, as long as you're not push, pushing the limit too far, like they're not getting yeah that angry. Like they're like they don't like it, but they're. I don't know how to explain it. Like that's. Because it was very close. I mean, when we did the prank on the friend, he thought it was legit pizza. Oh, is that why he was mad? Yeah, he thought it was... Oh. When he knocked and was like, pizza's here, he he thought it was actually pizza. Wow. Well, I mean, with pizza forno being like a two-minute walk, I mean... Yeah. uh, uh, That was was a... uh, What is it? Accurate assumption, right? Yeah. It's true. Yeah, that was an accurate assumption for sure. Yeah, man. I don't know. I mean, what else? You know, like we um, we we often thought about the pickup lines. Yeah, yeah. Doing pickup we didn't lines, get around but to it. But uh, I don't know. One of my favorite lines to use is like, um, obviously this is after like you've got her at your place, right? But like, you imagine you come in, you you walk in your place, you're about to. To play Xbox, watch a movie, right? And you you uh, softly whisper in her ear, Would you like to sit on the couch with a blanket over us? And before she says yes, just go get the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good one, but, you know, like then there's I'm a pickup line of, like, you know... I thought... I don't really use pickup lines, but that's just something I thought of years ago, and I thought it was pretty clever, and it has worked. It has worked. It's very romantic. Many of times. Many of times. I mean, it's more romantic than the line I was thinking of, which is, are you a clock? Because I want to I wanna spin you around. Um... <laughs> that sounds like... Yeah, I don't know if I'd say that to the kind of girls that I take home. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, maybe it's not, it's, it's not, it, the Bible doesn't support that one. But you could also use a Bible pickup line, like, I was reading Numbers last night, and I realized <coughs> I don't have yours. And that yeah. one worked in Toronto. That one worked at a church in Toronto. Or, you know, or if, if Mary can have Jesus without sex, then we can have love without it, too. What? That's a little confusing. I don't... Obviously, you'd be saying that to someone else, right? But it's yeah, it's, it's like it's like that one's that one is that one is perfect for like a someone who's abstinent. Yeah, you know, like a so Bible for me, it's, Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. No wonder I found it confusing because it's so accurate, right? Because yeah, you know, like if you're in Bible camp, then if Jesus, did I drink all my coffee? If Jesus is being abstinent and has a vow of chastity, then you have to, then you can love without it. Yeah. That's what they say, anyway. Did you know that Judas' uh, greatest mistake was never knowing personal space? I heard that. I yeah, did. Yeah, I saw a meme. <laughs> yeah. It was a kiss on the cheek that did him in. When, when Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek, then... Jesus knew. Yeah. Because there was a, it was like the unwritten rule, you don't kiss Jesus on the cheek if you're a disciple. Mm-hmm. Well, like, did Jesus' mom kiss him on the cheek? Like, Did he have a mom? That's a good question. Mother Mary, dude. <laughs> Mother, Mother Mary was the first female prophet in the Bible. She said, I'm pregnant with baby Jesus. That is... That's a part of my stand-up. Come to, come to Bell Park, Sunday, 4.20 p.m. Mother Mary was a good soul. 
So what's Joseph? Not as good as Father Time. Father Time. (laughs) (laughs) I prefer Father Time over Mother Mary. What? I don't know. He just has a better beard. (laughs) Santa Claus or like. I don't know, like, like the illustrations of Father Time, there's, like, Father Time's beard that's, like, this long, and then there's, like, Santa Claus's beard, which <laughs> is, like, this about. long. It's just, it's a, be- Santa Claus has a, has a terrible beard, but Father Time has a great beard. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny, dude. I mean... That's jokes. But that's, like, the pranks are kind of fun, too, because the jokes on the spot. Yeah. I actually want to do a video where, like, um, I've actually realized that, like, the interview content, if we walk up to people in, like, in a way where they know that I'm being filmed and I'm talking to them and they're obviously on camera, like, there's a way that we can go about it where, like, they know that we're filming. If they don't, they'll either, like, tell us off or they'll be like, no thanks and walk away, right? Yeah, because the Tinder prank was good for that. Yeah, and I like that where I can walk around, just ask people questions, and sometimes I can even look back at the camera, look back at the person, right? And it's kind of like I'm breaking the third wall, but it's kind of funny because it's like, are they going to answer me? Yeah, because, I mean, you never know. I actually want to do a character similar to, do you know Gilly from uh, Saturday Night Live? Yeah. It's like this schoolgirl that's very, like, shy and very quiet, and the teacher's like, Gilly, what are you doing? And she's like, Nothing, <laughs> right? Like that would be kind of a funny. I want to. Never mind. I don't want to. I don't want to. Or even just like ideas. even. In, I've even got like, ideas. I'm going back to the college and university campuses, and I have ideas. I have ideas. I mean, that would be a funny idea just to like dress up in a school girl, school like schoolgirl. No, no, I'm gonna make my own well, character here, with that tone where yeah. it's like people are gonna wonder. Uh, people. I'll try and get the public to to ask me stuff, and I'll just be like, well, I don't know. Or, well, yeah, or even better, <laughs> just sitting down in a restaurant, like, at a patio table, and then the server comes, and they're like, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, nothing. Yeah. And they're like, okay. And, or, like, you sit down at, like, a, at a random table for a brief second. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to do, like... That's not COVID, don't worry. I forgot it. What I was gonna say. I want to do um, what was it? I don't want to say it because I don't want to. Well, you, you have to preserve your ideas, you know. Like you gotta don't keep them spoil sacred. Them. I don't want to spoil them because if I say it, the, like other people might do it. Yeah, right? I mean, the just haters, like Monty Python said. Me to it. Yeah, and you know. I don't want to... I'm just kidding. I mean, it's just like Mon- it's just like Monty Python said. Every sperm is sacred, and every life matters. What? Every... I, I think that's something completely different. <laughs> um, but every... They did also say every idea is sacred. They did say that. Did they? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, ideas are, like... They should be, like, saved and... Yeah. Sorry, I just got a message. I got a beard trim tomorrow. Trimming your beard? Yeah, it's... Um, somebody's, uh, giving me a free, uh, they're hooking up a free lineup. I think it was supposed to be a haircut, but I'm like, I need a lineup. My yeah. Bar- my barber's not talking to me. So, Fair. yeah, so I might get a haircut too, see what happens. Haircut and I'm going to vlog it too. I'm going to vlog it too. They said that I could vlog it, so I'll give this guy some promo too. Uh, um... Yeah, pretty nice guy. How do you trim your beard? You know, like do you get do you go short? Do you get some like hair dye? I have dye? um, I have um, like a shaver thing, and then like worst case, I'll go over it with like a actual like uh, disposable. Right? Well, Noxies, it looks like the uh, camera and the mic cut out again, but uh, we got the other half for you, the other half of an episode. So, uh, thanks for watching. Space Wolf Attack is back. Yeah. You're going to see um, its nose right here. You can see your nose. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Yeah. I'll see you with another podcast next week. I'll try and make it an hour long.
But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like I, like we said, the pot, the camera cut out the first time uh, in the episode eight. Here's episode nine. Episode nine um, is done. Yeah, I'll be back with episode ten. I think we'll be on next. Yeah, with another guest, and then another guest after that. For but in the meantime, one. in the meantime, follow Buddy the Prophet. Yeah, yeah, that's me. And subscribe to his YouTube too. Subscribe to my YouTube. And his Instagram and Facebook. If you like jokes and, and dad jokes, like... And poetry. And poetry. And karaoke. And karaoke. And drumming. Sometimes. I play the bongos. <laughs> yeah. So, with all that said, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Uh, yeah. 86 That Pod is back. We got guests every week. Uh, new topics, new conversations. If only I could just get a new couch. It'll be great. I'll see you next week.